Hey friends, I miss you guys so much. Happy Mommy Monday. Today I wanted to share what's in my labor and delivery bag when I give birth to my second son. I'm really excited. So the bag that I wanted to just bring with me is a really old bag that I've had forever. It's actually my carry-on whenever I fly anywhere. This is a really old Kate Spade bag. I think it was when they had their 70 or even 90% off. It was like a huge massive sale. Definitely did not buy this um, retail price. So I took everything out and I put it on my bed and I'm ready to share everything. I also have some stuff in the pocket. So the stuff in the pocket are hair ties. If you guys can see, it's hair ties that I wrapped <laughs> with some Q-tips because I always like cleaning my ears. I also have bloody noses and what helps is if I clean my bloody nose like like with a q-tip that's wet i know sorry tmi and then more hair ties because you're gonna kind of want to have your face out of the way when you're um just hanging out at the hospital and then what else do i have i have a pen just in case i need to write something down um anything that i want to remember and i'm getting a c-section because of a lot of medical reasons and the when I have a c-section I'm really loopy so good idea for me to write things down one thing that I'm not sharing right now with you guys is I'm gonna be bringing my vlogging camera because I love to just document all of that so definitely bringing my vlogging camera and then over here I actually have some yellow ones that I bought for for Liam but I decided to buy my own like four pack of like traveling cubes and these I bought on Amazon they're awesome and inside here let me go open it up for you guys I have a really comfortable robe it's lightweight it's not too fluffy because sometimes it can get either hot or cold at the hospital so I wanted something that'll keep me warm but something that won't like feel like I'm going in the snow or something <laughs> you know what I mean and then this is um a lot of TMI up in here you guys um but I've been there and done that so I kind of know what to pack with me <laughs> but a lot of um big granny panties and when I mean granny panties I mean some big ones like that you can get at Target the Hanes kind the one that go really up because I'm getting a c-section and what I notice is with a c-section it hurts like you know the it hurts down there so i would prefer not to wear panties that are like low low rise panties instead i like the high ones so that it kind of goes on top of the c-section so that's why i have these high ones got them in different colors i'm bringing about four or five i'm probably gonna i just like to pack a lot and also after you give birth you bleed a lot they're gonna give you these mesh panties with pads those are comfortable too, so if you don't want to bring your own panties, they're going to hook you guys up with some too. So I like both, but I like bringing my own too. Whether you have a vaginal birth or a C-section, you're going to be bleeding after you give birth. So I packed some really huge um, postpartum pads. These are specifically postpartum pads. I bought them like a big giant two-pack box on Amazon by Nat Natricare. And they're really long if you guys can see that but the ones that they have at the hospital is amazing so I'm only bringing four because I like the ones at the hospital I personally like wearing the gowns that they provide at the hospital because they're easy access for breastfeeding you just like pull it down and you can like feed your baby um, but I also like pajamas and these are nurse friendly pajamas I got a lot of these from Justin they're pink blush maternity they look like this. You guys may have seen me wear it a lot. I wore one in my recent cleaning routine video. Um, and then some pajama pants that go with it. And then more pajama pants. I'm just going to be wearing pajamas even going home. Like my going home outfit. I'm just going to wear pajamas. Because where do you go after you give birth? You go home. So why dress up? <laughs> so I've decided to just do that. I'm probably going to pack a little bit more clothing, like a heavier sweater, but that's in the dryer right now. Actually, I'm washing it. Some leggings, and I'm wearing maternity leggings still because you don't like snap back and lose your weight like two days after you give birth, you know? So it's still a lot of maternity clothes that I'm going to be packing with me. And also, if you're having a C-section, pack more clothes than someone who has a vaginal birth because people with vaginal births, they heal faster. I've had this since 
um, Liam. It is a nursing cover. I love this nursing cover. Oh my goodness, it is stained. I actually have a teal one, so I might bring the teal one instead, but all of this is freshly washed, and this is where I put my head, and then it kind of looks like a tunic when you wear it, and it's great for breastfeeding. Um, <coughs> pardon me. I'm getting over a cold, <laughs> so I'm still coughing up a storm, um, but that nursing wrap, I don't wear a nursing wrap if I'm like alone, but if, you know, we have guests over, um, you know, after I give birth, of course I'm going to kind of cover up a little bit. So I like that nursing wrap and it's also great for traveling and it also makes a really good blankie for the baby. So in the cube, I also have nursing bras. Actually I need to pack more because I only packed one. I'm going to pack like three of them. I really like these bras. I bought them on Amazon. They're really stretchy. They're not just for people who are nursing. I only call them that because you can pull it and it's nice and stretchy, but these are great sleeping bras as well. And then I got some more panties as well, um, but I prefer darker ones because you're going to be bleeding a lot. So the darker ones that I showed you earlier are better. Like go for darker because you're going to be bleeding and you might leak through, uh, you know, TMI, but you know, you know, giving birth is a beautiful thing, but it's also, you know, the reality of it is you bleed, you might leak, you, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. From my first experience giving birth to my son Liam, I realized the only shoes that I really need to pack are flip-flops. You can wear them in the shower, wait for them to dry, and then wear them again. But flip-flops are the only things that fit because my feet get so swollen after I give birth that none of my shoes fit. <laughs> so flip-flops are the best thing ever. I'm going to do an entire video dedicated to what's in my baby's hospital bag. But um, the hospital bag for the baby is a little smaller than my big old travel carry-on. So I'm carrying some stuff in my bag. And I'm going to be bringing some burp cloths. And I really like this. Um, Justin and I, we used to have a P.O. box open for our subscribers. They were amazing. And they would send us like handmade um, gifts. And this is a handmade gift from a sweet subscriber when we gave birth to Liam. So I'm glad I kept it. And it's going to be my go-to birth I mean burping cloths and I'm bringing two with me and then I'm also going to bring this. This is a giraffe um, swaddle blanket. I love it and I got this from my best friend Dee so a huge thank you to Dee and I like it because it's giraffe and that's the theme of um, Baby Blueberry's nursery. It's like a jungle theme so I thought I'd bring it and I like this Aiden and Anais I've had a lot when I gave birth to Liam, and I like the fabric of this type of swaddle blanket. You gotta keep your feet nice and warm. So I'm gonna bring these Adormi slippers. They're kind of like socks and slippers at the same time. And I like that it has a non-slip grip, and that's really important, especially when you're walking around with a newborn. You don't wanna slip. And then I also have these other socks that I have. They look like ballet slippers. And they have the non-slip grip as well. And I believe I bought this at Walgreens maybe two or three years ago. I love them. And they're also really great if you take like Pilates bar classes. Because it, it looks like ballet slippers. And then these are actually specifically Pilates bar socks. But I really like them because they've got the non-slip grip to it. And it has like this crisscross design. Makes me look like I'm a ballerina in the hospital. You know like... <laughs> So they're really comfortable and my favorite part, the non-slip. I actually wore this when I gave birth to Liam. It is a nursing gown. Looks like this. It's very comfortable. So definitely we'll wear this in the hospital because I love it. And then right here, when you open it, you can nurse. So like it's kind of discreet when you're nursing around nurses and doctors and guests at the hospital. This is perfect, I love it, and it's really soft. And I don't know what it is, but I'm always hot. It's just my body temperature lately, so I like wearing gowns like this to sleep. So I'm probably gonna take this out of the bag where, for my pregnancy and then try and remember to put it back in the bag. I recently bought a new toiletries bag. I love this, you guys, it is so cool. It's really cool because, of course, I bought it on Amazon. I bought everything on Amazon, but it's really cool because it's labeled, like it says, soap and it says conditioner so i've got soap which is my facial wash um and then shampoo 
conditioner and then lotion and then the lotion inside is St. Ives the oatmeal one because it's really moisturizing and it doesn't really smell too strong and then on Amazon I bought these like little travel deodorants this one is called freedom and it's unscented but then I also have this by native um, I'm running out of it so I just decided to just keep this so that I could just bring it with me and it's unscented as well so I'm going to put that in my little toiletries bag but um, Justin has this big toiletries bag that he where he brings most of our toiletries like the mouthwash, the toothpaste, um, the toothbrush but I wanted to share with you guys that we got some toothbrush at the Dollar Tree so like if you guys are looking for cheap toiletries like little travel things because we usually use our you know electric one um, but when we travel we just get the ones from Dollar Tree and sometimes they have branded ones like Colgate um, toothbrushes there my breath will probably be humming I promise you I'll be brushing my teeth daily but just to kind of freshen up whenever we have guests I got some Colgate Wisp and I think I bought this at CVS or was it Target? I forget where, but it's always good to have a little bit of this, you know, to just freshen up a little bit in between meals. I also have things to freshen up my body. This is Uni Flash Bath No Rinse Body Cleanser because when you're, <laughs> you know, healing from birth, you don't get to take a bath like the day you give birth, you know. It usually takes the second day they'll let you take a bath and like, I have to barely learn how to start walking again after the c-section so this is really great you rub it on your body and it kind of freshens you up it's kind of like dry shampoo for your body but not for your hair you know what i mean and then this oh my gosh this is a body mist it's by the brand uni as well and it's the my arm world Ar aromatic body mist creates a relaxing and uplifting cocoon it's very light like you can barely smell it and i love the way it smells so i thought i'd bring it and it kind of leaks so i have it in a little baggie but these together is it's just going to be perfect and then i also i'm going to bring the pacifica hawaiian ruby guava hand and body lotion wipes hopefully justin will help me out by like helping me wipe my my leg because i probably won't reach my legs <laughs> i won't feel down there for a while um and this will just keep me nice and fresh and moisturized if i don't want to use like lotion because it's like lotion and fragrance in one and it's paraben free and all that jazz i love that kind of stuff and pacific is one of my favorite brands um and then i have a couple more i have a little hand lotion i recently bought at ulta it's Pacific uh, Hawaiian Ruby Guava. That's one of my favorite scents. It's, it's their body butter. And then, of course, a bar of soap. And I don't skimp out on my skincare, so I'm bringing a moisturizer. This is It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Got to use that every day. And then I do plan to bring a makeup bag with me. I haven't um, packed that yet because my favorite makeup I wear regularly, so it's kind of hard for me to pack that weeks ahead of time but I do plan to bring makeup because I'm gonna do a photo shoot with baby blueberry and Justin and hopefully Liam can be there too for the photo shoot it'll be really nice but I did that last time and I wore some makeup not like a crazy amount but you know like just a little bit of makeup so I don't look so tired in the pictures um, so I'm gonna need some makeup remover wipes after and I got this it was a PR sample from Tarte it's called fresh eyes and it removes waterproof eye makeup and then I also have this 3-in-1 facial towelette from Honest Company. And then I bought this at CVS, Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. So here's the thing. I wash my hair every day because I have oily hair. And if I don't wash my hair, my hair is yucky as heck. Um, so it's kind of hard for me, the idea of not washing my hair. So... I want my hair to still be fresh in the hospital and I know I won't be able to take a shower ASAP. So dry shampoo it is, you guys. And like, I tried it and I like this dry shampoo. Sorry, I'm like doing a demo. <laughs> because it doesn't smell strong. Like I don't want something that's that smells way too strong. It just smells clean. So, and I'm glad that this was a little sample. I think it was like three bucks when I bought it at CVS. Um, so that's it. I looked and... That's pretty much it for my labor and delivery bag. Do plan to add that makeup bag like I mentioned. 
maybe a little bit more pajamas. And then Justin's going to be packing um, what we're going to have a separate bag for him where he packs the toiletries, most of it, like mouthwash too, because I didn't mention that. <laughs> um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. I think I may have packed too much when <laughs> I had Liam, um, you know, because your first child, you have no idea what you're going to expect, but I kind of know to my second child so oh and you know what i need to be packing you guys i forgot gum because you know your breath yeah i need to pack gum <laughs> anyhow friends i appreciate you so much for watching if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and also ch check the notification bell so that you know when my videos are uploaded and i'll see you next time bye